Hi guys, in this video we're going to be painting the horse. Um, I've got my paints all put out on my plate. You are going to need an assortment of brush sizes. I've got three or four here. Four. A jar of water to keep your brushes clean. And a towel to dry your brushes off when you clean them out. So we're going to get started with the background. And I'm just going to make a nice bright pink color. So I'm just going to scoop up some red and then stir in quite a bit of white. So we want this nice bright pink. Maybe a little bit more white. Just make sure you're mixing up enough to fill in your whole background. Excuse me, I'm just gonna come right up next to the horse's neck here, start down at the bottom. You can start wherever you want. I'm gonna make that a little bit brighter. I'm just adding a little bit more red in. I want a really nice and bright pink. Sorry. Okay, that looks better. I'll just go right over top. What I just had on there. So I'm gonna put white polka dots on and I want this color to be bright so that those white polka dots show up nice and bright. So if this was light pink, those pot, those little dots, they would blend right in and we wouldn't see them very well. So just take your time, get your paint smoothed out nice and even. No globbies. Um, a bigger brush would actually probably work easier right now just because we have all this big open space to be painting in. Um, I'm gonna just stick with the same, the same medium one just because that's what I have in my hand. Whatever you've got going on, I'm sure is working just fine for you. It just takes less time if you use a bigger brush for the big areas and it leaves less brush marks. That was a little bit lighter, red pink. That's okay, I'm just gonna spread it out. No biggie. There, got all my background filled. Next, we're gonna work on the horse. So I'm gonna get my brush cleaned out. And I'm gonna do his, like the body. I'm not gonna worry about the flower, the hair, or, oh, I got taught what that was called. What's that called? A halter. Look at me remembering. So, nice clean brush, and we're gonna make a nice light brown. To do that, we're gonna just take a little bit of our black and stir in with quite a bit of this burnt orange color. 
And it's gonna kind of get this brownish color as the black gets stirred in. Let me kind of get this scooped up better. So we've got this nice brown. It's pretty light right now. If we add more black, it will be really, really dark. So we want it to be kind of on this lighter end. And then I'm gonna just scoop up some white. It's got a little pink in it, but it won't show. And I'm gonna make it a nice light shade. Maybe one more scoop of white. I want it more like a tan. So that looks pretty good. And before I start painting, I am gonna take a Sharpie and just do a little bit of outlining. Just kind of like the mouth and nose area and the eye, because I don't want to lose those lines. So with the black Sharpie, make sure it's a permanent black marker. It's very important that it's permanent. You're just going to take that Sharpie, that black permanent marker, and go over the eye. You're going to do this little nose, little nostril line, and his mouth. We can easily paint around the halter, so no biggie there. Um, maybe we'll get that line. This is just so when we paint over, we can still see. We're gonna do a nice, thin, even coat of paint. I'm gonna start right over here, going around the halter. And if we're nice and light, no thick paint over those Sharpie lines, we can see them through the paint. And that is what we want. nice thin paint over where we sharpie as the paint dries it does become a little bit easier to see if you lose the line your paint got too thick don't really sweat it it's not that difficult of line and shape to create by yourself you'll be just fine I'm gonna come in and do the face around the hair Do the ears. So this line doesn't go right up to the flower. I mean, you could fill in, but our flower will likely get a little bit bigger when we paint it, so don't really worry that it's perfect. We can make the flowers a little bit bigger. like he might be getting like as it dries this brown does get a little darker I think he might be a little too dark maybe I don't know we'll see I think if we just kind of did a second coat on top with a lighter shade we'll be set so we'll finish out this first coat and then I'm gonna put you to work doing a second quick coat to lighten him up a little so let's just get this part done first.
Okay, so first coat, maybe is a little dark. Oh, don't forget this ear up here. I almost did. So I'm just gonna take a big old scoop of white and stir it over in just a small area of my brown. But it's a lot easier to lighten just a small portion and we don't really need a whole lot. So that is a lot lighter. Should, should help him. I'm just, and I'm just gonna lightly kind of go right on top. I am probably gonna lose my lines that I sharpied. It might be faint enough to see. And I'm, this is just a very, very thin coat. That is better. Sorry, I'm making more work for you, making you paint it again. I just think he was getting a little too dark. Sometimes acrylic paint tricks me. It's hard to know for sure what the color is until you start getting it on there. And then, especially when it dries, it does dry darker. So this second coat does go quite a bit quicker than the first. There we go. All done. So next we're gonna do the mane. And this we do want a nice dark brown. So I'm gonna create a nice dark brown over here. Clean out my brush, don't want, don't want all that white in there. Nice dark brown, black and orange, about the same amount of both. A little bit more black. Just make sure you mix up enough to do the whole mane. I'm just gonna make this nice dark chocolatey brown. And just a little bit of white. Here we go. And I'm just gonna go through and just paint his whole hair. Take your time. Should have nice thin paint, no globs.
Yeah, now I have my hair done. I can go and do the halter. And that's just some turquoise mixed with a little bit of white. I'm gonna get my brush cleaned out. So I've got my turquoise here on my plate and just take a little bit of white and just stir into a little bit of your turquoise. You don't need much of this. And just go right ahead and get this little strap thing, little halter filled in. Next, we'll work on the flower. Since I have this uh, turquoise color on my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the center of my flower painted in. And next, I'll do the petals, and I'm just gonna use red. So I'm gonna clean out my brush. And then with just plain red, I'm going to paint in my, my flower. Um, you could do the flower white. That actually might be really pretty. I was thinking red though. Hmm, do I want to do it white? But nah, I'm gonna go with red. So just some red paint. And just go in and get all those petals. Don't really worry about your center being perfect. We can go back in and tidy that up. My petals might get a little bigger as I go. That's also fine. Okay, so we've got our nice bright red flower. I'm going to clean out my brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my red and mix it over in with this turquoise. Well, that was a lot of bit of red. So I kind of make this purpley color. Something about like that. And with this purpley color, I need a small brush, that's too big. I'm gonna use a smaller brush and I'm just gonna put a little circle here, like a little snap that connects the straps. And I'm gonna just brush this purple around the outside of the center of my flower. And while that's still wet, with that purpley color wet, just take a little bit of your turquoise and just brush it on and just kind of blend it out. So we've got that nice pretty center now. So lastly, we just have some like outlining, highlighting to do and our polka dots in the background. So I'm gonna start with white. I'm gonna use my medium brush, maybe a small brush. Let's see, I'm gonna go with medium and just some white paint. And I'm gonna do some quick, like outlining highlighting. And I use this, the narrow side of my brush. So if I were to use the brush like this, I would make a nice fat line. If I use it narrow like this, I make a nice thin line. So I'm gonna use it on the narrow. 
And I'm just gonna go around and kind of do quick, quick little highlighting. I did the, got the ears. I'm gonna do his hair. I guess it's called a mane when it's on a horse, right? Come down the side of the head. Come under the head. I'm gonna do the halter. And the neck. Also gonna get in there and get those flower petals. I'm probably gonna use a smaller brush. Just because it's harder to keep my brush on the narrow for those small swoops. So just a smaller brush. And I'll go around the center circle as well. And I'll get this little circle on the snap. I think that covers all my white highlighting. I'm just checking it out. Step back to look at it. Okay, next is just all the black highlighting and outlining. So, I'm going to use my medium brush on the narrow again. And it's basically the exact same thing we just did, but with black instead of white, we're just going to come in and do some black lines using my brush on the skinny and I'm not like trying to overlap perfect I'm leaving some of the white show Do the little mouth and this swoop up the side of the nose, the little nostril hole, down the neck, and I'm gonna do the eye. I'm gonna switch and use a smaller brush for the lashes. And I'm gonna do the under of the hair the main and down the back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Um, lastly, I'm just gonna go in with the small brush for my outlining and give her some eyelashes. They're just little lines. Now she fancy. brush I'm going to make polka dots all over the remaining area of the background so just some white paint I need a little little white paint I got some in my little puppy here a little bit of white paint clean brush you're just gonna go all over the background and make polka dots This one kind of go behind the head. And you want some of them to run off the edge of your canvas. Some to kind of hide behind the horse in parts. Then just get the whole background area filled in. If you want to go back in and do a second coat on your polka dots, feel free. I know the first coat doesn't really cover the best, but I'm just going to do one just to keep the video shorter.
going to flip it just because the bottom of this easel makes it kind of tricky for me to get at that little bit of my bottom of the canvas. Flip them back over, give him one, one more final glance, make sure that I finished. I think she looks adorable. Um, sign my name, a small brush, a little water in it. I'm gonna use maybe this dark brown, stir that water into the paint, just to make it thinner, it's easier to sign. You get um, more flow to your paint. It's just more liquidy. And it's easier to get your name in one big swoop. So I'm just going to squeeze my name in right here. And done. So when you guys finish, um, pretty quick pictures. I like seeing your finished work. You can post to the pin, post them to the pins, post that I have on the top of my Willy Nilly page on Facebook. Um, I love seeing your work, so please share. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.